dumps the our Lego water down into this cup and also releases this little flag going out the back. And then when this cup gets full, it pushes down on the lever, releasing the ball, which rolls down the lever into these guys. Which hits the switch, which causes our skeleton horsemen to ride up the, the track, pulling on the cable through the pulleys, releasing this shooter, which will then knock the drawbridge down into the dominoes. everything off, call this cell phone. When the cell phone vibrates, it slides down the ramp, which pushes this, which shoots this, knocks into the back of this pivot, which pushes this guy off and he flies into the cavern there, and also activates a switch, which throws this motor, which connects to Alan's piece. So we're using pneumatics here. We have a pump right here that goes through with a switch turning on this piece that will actually move our switch forward with the uh, pneumatics, turning on our engine. Making this turn, we have a warm gear and a 24 tooth gear, we'll turn that, tip it over. hit this switch which will activate the conveyor belt going up which will make this lever come and hit the eight ball the eight ball will come down it will hit then this switch which oh, sorry. so the switch activates the battle track to move forward releasing this arm which swings around hits the r2 powered sled down the ramp into this switch which activates the conveyor belt, which causes the block to drop down on this switch, which turns on the carnival ride, which drops the weight brick onto the catapult, which lift or lever, which lifts this lever, which then the other end pushes down on that switch. Pushes down on this <laughs> platform, flips the lever, turns on this motor here, which turns this double-sided tire arm lifting this teeter-totter, sends the gravity car down to hit the red ball. And when it hits the ball, it goes down the ramp and then hits this lever, which is this lever, and all the levers all the way at the top to hit this ball, which drops down and hits another lever and knocks down that post. Which the tower here knocks over and hits this little flapper arm, and then we got some gravity going on with the wheel. Friction is holding all this place, and so the wheel breaks that friction, causing this arm to swing down, and hit the switch here on the car, which then pushes it into this tower. And once it hits our first block, it's called the domino effect, hitting our giant ball on our ramp, then hitting the car, sending us off into the sunset. Woo!